Okay, here we are, question three. This again comes in uh, three parts, in A, B, and C. These first two, you just have to understand the two meanings of the word credit and debit. Basically, uh, credit is money going into your account. So if you're paying a check or cash, or if you had your salary come in from your job. So what does credit mean? Is money going into the account and debit is things that you have to pay out so if you draw cash out of a cash machine which is not this case but you could do or you pay off bills like this water bill so basically money is going going out of the account and that's all it is for credit and debit money going in money going out nice easy two marks However, for the next bit, we've got a, a different bank statement and we want to complete the balance column. So we started with £97.50 in our account and then we put some cash in of £85. Well, let's add up what we get if we add up £97.50 with £85. What do we get if we add that up? So it's just a calculation. So we get 0, 50, that's 12, carry the 1, 9, 8, 17, that's 80. So I get 100. At the end, after that cash has gone in um, on the 12th of September, I have £182.50 in my bank account. But then I have to pay the gas bill, so I have to pay out £162.50. Now this one works out nicely, so actually, once I've paid that out, I'm only going to have £20 left in my account. And then I've got a pound pay out eighty pounds. So I've only got twenty pounds in. So if I pay out eighty pounds, that means I'm going to go overdrawn or go negative sixty pounds. I'm going to go sixty pounds into my overdraft. That means I owe the bank sixty pounds. So the next time I pay in some cash, I have to pay off the sixty pounds to get to zero, and then I only get the cash in afterwards. Okay, so uh, five marks in total. Go back over it if you need to.